Hello church, we are concluding the book of Jonah today, looking at chapter 4. And the word of the day is jealousy. In this chapter, we see this back and forth kind of dialogue between Jonah and God. Unfortunately, it's not looking very good for Jonah. Throughout this process, he's had a pretty bad attitude. He hasn't been obedient. He's uh, been very selfish and self-focused. Uh, even his uh, message uh, to the Ninevites was very short. Um, and even though they responded how God wanted, it was not how Jonah desired. And so he starts off asking for God to kill him, right? He throws back this amazing promise of the character of God that um, he knows uh, in verse 2 that you are gracious and merciful, slow to any anger, abounding in steadfast love, and relenting from disaster, right? Those are all great qualities of God. And yet Jonah is saying, these are why I didn't want to come. I didn't want to see you behave this way towards my enemies. I just wanted to have you all to myself, basically, and not share this amazing God, this amazing attributes, this amazing forgiveness that can only come from God with anyone else. And so he's being jealous, jealous. he's being selfish and self-focused. And we see this play out again when he goes, sits on the hillside, waiting for God to hopefully destroy the city. And God gives him this shade tree to give him some shade. Oh, he's so happy that he has this shade tree. Right? Again, it's his selfishness, his jealousy over only wanting the nice things from God for himself and not wanting to share it with anybody else. And so God shows him his jealousy, but then creating a worm to destroy this very tree that he gave Jonah to provide some shelter and some relief. And Jonah gets angry. He says, God, just kill me. And God says, look, do you do well to be angry? You shouldn't be jealous. You shouldn't be selfish. You should be sharing this message. You should be glad that I am a gracious and merciful God, that I will save anyone, Jew or Gentile, tall or short, rich or poor, male or female, regardless of what social society may try to lump us as God is there and loving and ready to forgive anyone who calls out upon the name of the Lord to be saved. And so as we go about our lives, we make sure we are not jealous, that we are not angry that God would save anyone, that we'd be willing and joyful and uh, eager to be on our journey with God, being commissioned by him to share the gospel with others uh, so that God can save and can work and do miraculous things in people's lives. And we can be a part of that and enjoy that for all of eternity. So let's not be jealous and for, focus on our own self, but let's be uh, realizing that God loves everyone and desires for them to call out on him for salvation. So let's share this message and go on this journey with God by our side. All right, church, have a great day.